So I don't know if Kurt has told you yet. If not, I'm going to tell you right now. My knee is getting a little bit better, but it still needs more time to rest. Um, I'll give you all the scoop on the knee in a minute. But we've decided to stay at this hostel right here on the beach at El Tunca in El Salvador for a few more days. But that means going to get food because we're out of food going to get fuel because in order to deal with the heat in the afternoon we are having to run the van a little bit to run the air conditioner for the cats so we need to fuel up if we get lucky enough to pass a car wash it'd be nice to rinse off the van especially the solar panels would help us get a little bit more solar everything's a little dusty around here but that's not a necessity food gas or diesel and an ATM for some more cash and then we're going to come back that tiny tight road park here at this little hostel on the beach a little bit more but don't worry it's not going to be boring kurt's got some exciting adventures planned and all right step one of today's mission get fuel in the van is underway which is good because we were getting really low all right Fuel done. We're filled up. Now so, we're waiting on the chicken bus. And then what, Cardi? So fuel here is about 290 a gallon, which is very similar, I feel like, to what it was in Guatemala, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, 290 a gallon. And remember guys, we are still getting the joys of using the US dollars here. So no conversions. Which is, is good. Alright, so we found the grocery store. It's got a very small parking lot, so by the time we saw a place we could park, we'd already passed it and there was a car behind us. Now we're on this tight little road. We're gonna circle around the block and try again. But look what we discovered. The market. The market. See it? Maybe we can just go there. All right, good news. We might not have to go around the block because we found another grocery store Dispensa Familiar. Maybe they've got parking. We're gonna see. Because we are in a mess right here. Look at all this. But we're behind the buses so we know we can make it through. Right, Kurt? Yep. I think. We hope. <laughs> we're gonna find out. Alright. The Dispensa Familiar is not looking any better for parking. It's in there. <laughs> so, obviously, we got to find somewhere to park and maybe walk back this way. But y'all know Kurt likes a market, not driving through it. But he likes walking through one. Let's find a parking spot. We're headed around the block again. I'm gonna try to find a parking spot before we get to Market Street. Wish us luck. This place is a zoo. Right before we circled back into that mess, Kurt's eagle eye spotted a parking lot. So we found a parking lot pretty close to the market. My knee's still on the mend. Kurt has to do this adventure by himself. Wish him luck. Cheers. Okay guys, I get asked a lot about what is wrong with my knee. Here is the scoop on my knee. Um, five, six years ago, it started to hurt quite a bit. It had hurt for a long time, but it hurt enough for me to go to the doctor and get some MRIs. And what we found was little baby bone spurs on all four corners of my right knee and a couple of bone spurs on my left knee. Um, over the years, the bone spurs are growing. And what happens is if I do anything you know, a long hike, if I walk up and down a ton of stairs, just normal inflammation from a tired day uh, starts to irritate more around the bone spur areas and it just is a vicious cycle that it just gets worse and worse and every once in a while I just have to stop. Let all the inflammation go down and then the bone spurs don't irritate the area around it as much. Right now, I'm in a pretty vicious cycle. It just can't seem to get better. But um, I think whenever we fly home 
to get our vaccines, which is something we're going to have to do whenever it's our turn for the COVID, I think I'm going to make an appointment at the knee doctor and get an MRI because I can definitely tell that they're a little bit worse. So that is the scoop on my knee. That is why I am down right now and just about any kind of walking just irritates the heck out of them. So it's very painful. I hate it for Kurt because it slows us down. But he's incredibly patient with it. And y'all know he likes to go on his morning walks and hikes and, and have his get out and adventure time. But I think it's best that we stay put for a few more days and try to let it get better. And then start to gauge on, on whether I make an appointment with that knee doctor when I go back home. So that is the scoop on the knee. That is why we are forced to stay here in this beautiful coastal town in El Salvador. At this amazing little hostel on this amazing little beach for a few more days. It could be a lot worse, guys, I promise. So, there you have it. Y'all have been asking. That's what's going on. I managed the pain with ibuprofen. But right now, it's just not cutting it. So, more R&R &R for Snow and her knee. Alright, back to the video. Alright, Kurt has made it back from the grocery store. And the very first thing he asked me is, do we know what the temperature is around here? Guys, I think it was hot. But I had him a nice cold orange drink made. He said it was tight. It's definitely hot. It's a, uh, it's a very busy little town with, um, you know, these markets jammed in. There's not a lot of parking. Had to walk a long way to the grocery store and carry the groceries back. Groceries are put away. We're leaving the peaceful little paid parking lot. Headed back out into the melee. Thought Kurt was wore out and was gonna skip the car wash, but I think this one just looked too convenient. He had to do it. Look, it's even tall enough for us. Woohoo! Ten dollars to get the van cleaned on the outside. We used Google Translate to make sure you understood that we needed the solar cleaned. Hopefully, we get the solar cleaned, right, Kurt? ladder so they can get the solar and boy she needs a bath all right guys they cranked up the pressure washer they got a bucket here comes the guy that I think got the fun job of climbing the ladder and cleaning our solar panels Vanna's wondering what they're doing to our van don't worry Vanna they're cleaning it up making it pretty like you She needed a good bath, guys. She's getting it. Woohoo! And Fanna's still wondering what in the heck is going on outside of her house. You better get them, Fanna. You better get them. Oh, there's Arnold. Car wash. A good one. They're doing a good job. $10. The grocery store visit where Kurt went, $68. Uh, filling up the tank, we were almost empty with fuel, $60. So that means we got to find an ATM on the way back to our hostel campground. But we are almost done with the chores for the day. We can get back and hop in the pool. She's shiny now, guys. Kurt has seen people fishing off the top of this rock that sticks out into the water here. It's a famous landmark rock here in El Tunca. Um, so he decided he was going to climb it this morning. He's looked at it and he knows that there's going to be some strategy involved. And it looks like he's doing some heavy duty thinking out there on how to get out onto that rock. We'll keep watching, see how he does.
All right, guys, here's the current situation. If you can see this wall right here, when I looked at it, I was thinking that might be the place where people go up. But it's actually, it's not even straight up. So like, it's pointed out a little bit. So I don't feel safe climbing that. It's pretty cool here, and I would love to get on this island, but I just, don't feel safe the footing down here is kind of underneath this wall so it almost be like you'd have to climb it leaning back a little bit need real firm hand grips it just looks too tricky bummer that place looks cool All right, guys, I had to go take a close look at this thing again one more time. And I think you need to be a climber to be able to get up through that, or have some climbing skills, especially without fall protection. It's just, for me, too dangerous. If I were to slip a hand, a foot, anything, I would fall in those rocks, and that is not worth it and there's just no way I can safely get up there. It's really hard for me to uh, turn down a challenge like that, but I absolutely feel like I know my limits. You guys might disagree, but that's one I cannot do. So I'm gonna go back and hang out with snow, and I'm gonna get in the water a little bit, enjoy this beautiful ocean. All right, guys. It has been determined that we're going to stay in El Tunca for another week or until we decide to leave. But we're going to stay for a while. So I'm going to go back to the van. And Snow doesn't know this yet, 
but she's kind of been bugging me to pull out the little uh, floaties that we have for the pool. But I have to pull the bike out to get to the floaties. And so I've kind of not been wanting to do it. I'm going to surprise her now. Pull the bike out, pull the floaties out, and we're going to chill on the beach. Curtis headed out into the waves. He blew up our little floaties. He's going to go try to have a little bit of fun, and hopefully the waves don't kill him like they almost tried to do that one time when we were in Puerto Escondido. If you want to laugh, watch this video right here. But let's see what happens to Kurt with these waves. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready for change? and then all of a sudden the waves are like six foot. So, I mean, you just get engulfed. There's just no, we no saw way it. around it. Don't get worry, up. we saw it. <laughs> but the floaties are gonna be awesome in the pool. Thank you for getting those out. Yeah. It's a tough job, guys, but somebody's gotta do it. Okay, guys. Oh, huh. we're getting the door unlocked for us. We're gonna go grab a little bite to eat out here, maybe watch the sunset. We've worked really hard all day, right, Kurt? Yep. Really yep. hard. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. All right, so we worked really hard today holding down the floaties in the pool. And Kurt went and got veggies. And Kurt even cleaned the composting toilet before I even woke up. So Kurt has worked hard. I was joking, but he has. Probably going to have a pina colada too, Kurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. The sunset surfers are coming out. All right, let's go see what we can find. It's not the weekend. The crowd definitely goes away during the week. camera trying to get some shots of these surfers and the sun's fixing the set and you can hear the water pushing those rocks around. So I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and see if y'all can hear it too. We heard that exact same noise when we were camping on Shipwreck Beach in Baja. Such a cool soothing sound. I hope it comes through in the video.
If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.